Hi guys and welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we're going to talk about a new blockchain. The name is NALS. It is also a blockchain that has quite a long history because it has started to work in 2017. But it's only right now that they are launching their own DeFi ecosystem with the first milestone that is the most important that is having a DAX. The name of the DAX is NALS Swap. If you want to know more, you can retrieve also the links about NALS and NALS Swap into the description below. We will go through everything. Just before, let me say, guys, the reason why it's so important to try to study also different kinds of blockchains is because, remember, during the bear market and the more this bear market will last, the more the market will change. And maybe the projects, the leaders that we are seeing right now, maybe they will be not so dominant anymore into the next future. That's the reason why it's so important to study what's going on into this market. And if you want to also stay always on track, remember that we are releasing a new service on Twitter and Telegram. Every day we post the top 10 news and stories about cryptos and DeFi. So if you want to stay updated, remember to follow us also there. You can retrieve also these links into the description below. And guys, remember, if you enjoy this content, remember always to leave a big thumbs up, drop a comment. That's just a small effort for you, but really means a lot to us. And as always, remember that this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, great, but do always your own research, especially into a market condition that is so volatile and so delicate. Okay, guys, let's start with NALS. NALS, as I was telling you, is a project has a born 2017 and has evolved a lot since that time. It has started as a service that was focused more on businesses. That's also the reason why if you check about NALS, you will find many partnerships and many companies that were working with this project. And to be honest, even if the chart it is so ugly, because that's the chart price of NALS, I have to admit that I have been one of them that has bought this token in 2018. The reason is because at that time, this project was literally one of the most promising one. Unfortunately, the tokenomics weren't so great because you should know that there hasn't been any kind of ICO. The tokens were simply distributed for free and a part of them has been also used to finance the project. So the team was selling with any probability their own allocation in order to finance or to fund the uh, project. And as you can understand, this is a way to create a lot of selling pressure. Not to mention that on the other side, there weren't any kind of DeFi ecosystem, any kind of use case for the average user, but not even for big institutions to invest. The main goal for uh, NAS was to develop a blockchain that had an infrastructure that should be uh, modular and cross-chain. The reason why they were using module is because they wanted to give the opportunity to anyone to build its own blockchain, its own specific and dedicated blockchain to solve the problem that we're uh, working for. And that's also the reason why here you will find uh, the NAS chain factory and the NAS chain box. You can think to uh, NAS, even if it's slightly different, to what, for example, has been done by Cosmos with the Cosmos SDK. The concept is quite close. Also, NAS want to give the opportunity to anyone to build its own side chain that is starting with, that has a, as a core, the NAS blockchain. On the other side, they want to also go cross-chain. Cross-chain means, first of all, the different uh, side chains can talk one to uh, the uh, other. And on the other side, cross-chain means also giving the opportunity to now to talk also to the other blockchains. And that's the reason why they have been working also to a uh, narrow network, this uh, um, a bridge, something like that, uh, that is working on a cross-chain service in order to make it possible to talk uh, uh, between BSG, Ethereum, uh, uh, NALS, obviously, Harmony, uh, OKX, and many other blockchains. As you can see down here, this project has been uh, uh, powered up by uh, NALS, BNB, Polygon, and many other projects that are supporting this uh, 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 project here, the NERP network. 
If you want to know more about how NALS is working, because there are a different kind of innovation that has been brought by this team, I will leave also all the links that are useful to dig into this project into the description below. What I want to start focusing right now is why and how the DeFi ecosystem is starting to uh, develop right now. Because you should know that in order to have any kind of DeFi ecosystem, what we need is the first DAX. This is the first milestone. And uh, this DAX is just launching right now in the case of NALS. Uh, the name is NALS Swap, and as you can see right now, it is going through a, a pre-sale. If you want to know more about uh, Null Swap, you can also follow them on uh, Twitter. For example, here you can retrieve more information about uh, their uh, IDO with the pre-sale. And as you can see, the initial market cap is quite low, 168k. That is quite a low market cap. And the main reason is because in the moment when we are talking about Nuts, we are still talking about a blockchain that is just a niche, that is just starting to move its uh, first steps right now. But let's try to understand what are the peculiarities of this DAX because uh, as we will discover in a, in a moment, there are a couple of innovations that are changing the way that is approached the uh, normal DAX compared to, for example, Uniswap. And the main differences, or at least the one that I preferred most is this one, the automated liquidity provider. It is a feature that is using the fees that are collected by the uh, DAX in order to increase the liquidity to inside each pool. So instead of having the full amount of the fees that is directly distributed to the liquidity providers, on the other side, they are using a small amount to increase the liquidity inside that pool. So we will have a pool that is not only having the liquidity that is provided by the different liquidity providers, but also some liquidity that is locked inside the pool forever and this is something that is so important because guys remember always that the higher is the liquidity the better is the user experience for uh, the dex another feature that is quite interesting is that the same fees are from one side going to the liquidity providers on the other side they will go to the automated liquidity provider so increasing uh, an amount of liquidity is locked forever inside the pool and on the other side, they will use a part of the fees to reward people that are staking the hand swap, that is the token of the platform. But what is also quite peculiar is that in the moment when you are staking and swap, you will receive a hand swap that is also giving you the ability to use this new token that is representing the amount of uh, tokens that you have staked inside the platform to use it on different other protocols. As I was telling you before, the reason why it's so important to have a DAX is from one side, because it allows you the opportunity to swap the tokens that are coming from this ecosystem without the need to go to use a bridge in order to exchange them maybe on a centralized exchange or maybe on another blockchain. So it is giving you the exit liquidity and also the opportunity to manage your exposure to the different projects that are part of this ecosystem. That's the reason why it's so important to have a DAX. On the other side, it is also because it allows you to build other applications that are just surrounding the DAX. In this case, for example, we are having Watergate Finance that is building on uh, around the uh, DAX uh, null swap and will give you the opportunity to use your A and swap in order to use them also on uh, water tire uh, finance. If you want to know more also what are the other projects that are uh, developing on NALS, you can use this page here. It is uh, part of uh, an initiative that is called a uh, proof of credit mining. It's not so different from what we have seen on a launch but like Pylon on Terra or maybe also with uh, the parachain auction by Polkadot. It is working in a similar way. All you have to do is choose your project. In the moment when you are choosing it, you will have the opportunity to click on it and you have to connect your wallet, obviously. Remember guys, that in a moment when we are talking about NALS, there is a specific wallet that you should 
use. This wallet is called a uh, Nabox, that is this one. It is a multi-chain gateway to the Web3. You can download it from a, a mobile or also just as a plugin on your computer. This is the wallet that you need to use if you wanna use a, a this initiative in order to fund the different projects, but also if you wanna use, for example, NullSwap or any other protocol on NAS. Remember guys, you can't use MetaMask, but you need to have this specific wallet here. As I was telling you, in the moment when you have your wallet and you wanna fund, for example, a project, you have just to connect it and you will have the opportunity to deposit some NAS. The NAS that are depositing you are just locked, but you are not losing the uh, ownership on your NAS. It is like just taking them and starting to earn rewards, not just receiving NAS, because the NAS that are uh, generated through the staking rewards will go to the project, exactly as it is working, for example, on Polkadot. And on your side, what you will receive is the uh, token of the project. So from one side, it's great for you because it allows you to uh, receive an APR that you can find here. And on the other side, it is also a way for the different projects to fund themselves. So to increase the level of funding they have available. So guys, the reason why I think that it's quite interesting to start thinking about uh, on NAS is not because uh, I think that you should invest and go into this blockchain. But I think it is interesting to start thinking about how also other blockchains are evolving. For example, as we have seen, NASWAP is introducing this concept to increase the liquidity through the automated liquidity provider that is increasing the level of liquidity inside the pool. That's also good in order to avoid rug pulls, or at least to give you a, a smaller defense, because even if many people are swapping, it is increasing the minimum amount of liquidity that is guaranteed to be inside the pool. I know it will require a lot of time to build a decent amount of liquidity that is locked inside, but that's a good starting point. On the other side, what I think that is quite interesting is creating more use cases for uh, the token. In this case, it is nice to see how also the whole ecosystem is starting to work together because a main difference, a main advantage of seeing ecosystems that are just starting right now is that they can use, they can learn from the previous mistakes that other blockchains, that other ecosystems has done. For example, in this case, it is pretty clear that the more the different projects will work together, the more value they will be able to create. That's also the reason why it's so important, for example, for NullSwap to have this partnership with a, a Water Tiger Finance. Because remember, the single governance token it has a value that is quite limited if we are not talking about Uniswap that is a, a so big protocol that many people want to have influence inside of that. For all the uh, projects that are just launching right now, what is important is having a token that is giving you the ability to earn some kind of yield. In this case, the yield is coming from the fees collected by the protocol. And on the other side, having different use cases. In this case, for example, you will have A and swap that is giving you the ability to use it on Water Tiger Finance and so on. In any case, guys, remember that it will require time for all the different projects to mature and to attract people. In this moment, when we are talking about NALS and the whole ecosystem, so all the projects that you are seeing here, and even uh, the NASWAP that is a project that is launching right now, you will be one of the first early adopters. So it means simply that if the uh, whole ecosystem will succeed, the amount of reward that you will receive will be quite high. On the other side, the risk connecting to entering uh, an ecosystem that is so young, it is obviously much, much higher. If you're interested to know more about NALS and NALS swap and the whole ecosystem, I will leave all the links into the description below so you can check it by yourself. And obviously I will leave also the link to uh, the wallet if you wanna know more about it and to uh, the bridge. Because remember, in this case, we are talking about something that should be cross-chain or at least that's the final idea. So we have NALS that has to talk with all the other blockchains through the nerve network. We are having the core 
of denials the FICO system is represented by DEX. Here you have also the uh, pre-sale. If you want to know more, follow them also on Twitter. As you can see, guys, remember the market cap is really low, but as always, as I was telling you, remember high risk, high reward. So always uh, do well your math, try to manage in the right way your portfolio and try to decide according to your profile risk and being aware also of the risk opportunity for each project. Guys, let me know what do you think about uh, now swap. If to be fair, as I was telling you, I started, I entered into the NAS ecosystem in 2018, yeah, around May. I have been exited around 2020 with a big loss, to be fair. And uh, right now I'm starting again to, to start thinking about uh, this ecosystem. At this moment, uh, I don't have just uh, as a disclosure, I don't have an exposure to the NAS ecosystem, but I think that it's quite interesting to follow it and to understand maybe if after this big announcement uh, that is finally they are having their own DeFi ecosystem, they will start to grow. Obviously, guys, remember, we are still in a bear market, so the final result in terms of price, it is something that we will see it into the long term. Guys, let me know what you think about it. I will leave all the links into the description below. And guys, remember, if you enjoy this content, remember to leave me a big thumbs up and drop a comment. That is just more effort for you, but really means a lot to us and can really help us to reach other people. Thank you for following me, guys, and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye, guys.